Hello and welcome to Firearm Freedom. This is going to be another First Impressions video. In today's First Impressions video, we are taking a look at my brand new Remington 870 home defense model. And before we get this video started, I want to give a quick shout out to this video's sponsor, which is going to be Gators Eyewear. And if you've never heard of Gators like me before I picked up a few of these examples that you guys are going to see here quick, really cool company. They make aluminum frame glasses. They are made in the United States and they've actually been used by the special operations community in the United States military for a very long time. They're actually bend adjustable. So when you get them in the box, they are kind of not really sized and then you bend them via their instructions to fit your face. These ones in particular are their Stark and I love the fact that they got pretty much like retro vintage looking stuff like this with the sick orange polarized look to them. So I love these. The ones you guys are going to be seeing in today's video are the sky hooks, which are their aviators. They offer polarizing and other things. They have a bunch of other designs like the specters here, which are very similar to some old Oakleys that I used to have. And these are also ballistic rated. So they're great range glasses as well. Hit that link down in the description. It'll be the first one in there and down in the comment section. It will take you to their website and it'll also give you a discount. It's like 30 to $40 off each pair of sunglasses that you buy, and it helps support the channel. The Remington 870. Now, a lot of folks out there, you're going to be confused thinking this is like an old school 870, but this is brand new. So this is the new Remington Firearms. I think it's called Rem Arms, but it is now under different ownership. That's no longer the cancerous Freedom Group. And we are finally seeing their new versions of old models. And this is one of those. Now, this came into the gun shop that I work at. I have no affiliations with Remington whatsoever. It just came into the shop for sale. And I was first and foremost blown away by the price point that this was going out on the floor at. So I think retail on this gun on the wall was like $4.59, which for walnut furniture, that was very impressive to me. And it's not like some Turkish pump gun. This is a made in the USA Remington pump shotgun for under 500 bucks, which I thought was really nice, especially in the current climate of things. This particular model is the home defense variation, and there are two different options. They both have 18 and a half inch barrels. This particular model, though, has the plus two magazine extension here on the bottom. And the actual SKU number, if you care, is R8111. Nine, seven, and that's just differentiating the two. Now, of course, the plus two extension looks excellent, and I, <laughs> I, I gotta say, I was immediately, I'm, you guys know, I'm usually drawn to security shotguns. That's just kind of what I enjoy. I love pump guns, semi, whatever. I just really, really enjoy a good shotgun, and more specifically, I love a security shotgun with the wood. So the moment that I opened up the box when we were receiving this shotgun, gun and I saw this gorgeous walnut hardwood furniture on this 870. I just, I became locked onto this thing and I didn't know that Remington was going to start dropping these security shotguns like this. I've seen some synthetic furniture models come through and they looked all right. No issues at all. No major QC out of box issues that we were seeing with just pre bankruptcy Remington. And I was very excited about them. It was really cool to see Remington kind of be reborn and start producing some finally good shotguns again. But this was the first one that I saw with the walnut furniture and they did this just awesome checkering on this. Seriously, I, I'm getting real excited about this thing because they just, they, they knocked it out of the park. Now, as far as the actual checkering itself, it's nothing like old school checkering. I mean, this is obviously laser cut checkering, but they did a pretty good job. And on the actual handguard itself, the pump up here, it looks phenomenal. It's a great mixture of retro and modern all into one. And I, I think it's an 
awesome, awesome upgrade for an 870. And again, at 459 for walnut hardwood furniture, I, I was I, I had to buy it. So that's exactly why you see it on the channel in front of you now. So I know what many of you are thinking. Hey, I was really freaked out by Remington because the pre-bankruptcy guns were god-awful. Trust me, I saw quite a few of them in the shops that I've worked at, and they were horrendous. I mean, we're talking they were coming out of the box with bent barrels, bent mag tubes, extensions falling off, the actions were gritty, it was really bad. I'm proud to say that Remington is slowly but surely winning me over with their new Remington Arms pump guns. So far, I have purchased a TAC-14 hardwood, which you guys know I raved about in multiple reviews, and now, spoiler alert, this 870 home defense full-length 18.5-inch shotgun that they dropped is phenomenal. I am seeing zero quality control issues with the new Remington pump guns, and that is really exciting to see. Now, time will tell in the future if they can continue on this path, but if they do, they are going to slowly win back their market, in my opinion. Now, I did see right out of the box just one very small, I scoured this gun looking for anything that could possibly be a QC issue. The hardwood looks great. There's only one little section that some of my OCD folks out there may have noticed. You guys can see in the back by the trigger guard here, it's a little bit kind of just not really rounded over. You know, it could be fitted a little bit more around the receiver and the trigger guard. Now I can still get to the safety, no problem. I don't feel anything anywhere. It's not sharp but it's just, it's noticeable, but that was it. That's the only QC thing I saw. As far as the action, super smooth, no issues there. What you guys are seeing on the bolt is actually just some grease and carbon. That's not scratches or anything. The finish still has kind of your traditional rust when you look at it, Remington finish, but that's not even like a pre-bankruptcy thing. That is just the finish that a lot of Remingtons have always had. Now, I'm not seeing like immediate rust or anything like that anywhere. It just, it strikes me as that same finish. So again, time will tell. We'll see if it holds up. We'll see if it rusts. Right now, we're looking good and I have been handling it with my bare hands a few times just to see if any of those oils cause this thing to rust rapidly and nothing yet, which is good. Now, the top of the receiver on this 870 is drilled and tapped in case you want to put a Picatinny rail, which on a, a more retro style shotgun like this, most people probably will not but it is an option. You guys heard me mention that it has a plus two extension. I was kind of a little bit confused with this at the range because it only holds six in the mag tube. And it, it's just weird because it looks like a seven or eight shot magazine tube, but it's actually only a six. And at first I thought the rounds were getting bound up by the extension here because that happens a lot. But I did go on their website and reference the SKU number and it is actually just a six round mag tube. So you're getting plus one seven total, not really the end of the world but again it's just kind of odd you'd think it would have eight rounds but there's they just stop it at six so not a huge deal but i would like it to have just a little bit more capacity on the front end of the shotgun we have this excellent setup here for a sling mount just gives it a very very traditional look absolutely love this you got your sling swivel on the bottom I have a very, very cool VersaCarry sling coming for this in the upgrades video very soon that I'm excited about. And then you have, again, more of a traditional Remington Plus 2 extension on the bottom. We have a standard cylinder bore 18 and a half inch barrel up here with a bead front sight. The bead on the front sight, I mean, it's slightly off-centered, ever so slightly, but it's really tough to notice, and we're talking about a pump shotgun. With a smooth bore, I'm not really worried if the bead is slightly crooked and it was still shooting just fine at the range. Getting into the shootability, we have still what you would expect from a good 870 pump gun, which was 100% reliable. I shot a wide variety of ammunition from standard birdshot to buckshot, and I also tried some of the Federal mini shells in this, and the mini shells were so-so. Most shotguns are going to have a little bit of a hard time running that. In Mossbergs, they just flat out generally won't run without, without the op sole mini clip thing but in the 870s because of the way that their loading gate here is designed you generally can run them 
okay. And that's exactly how it was with the shorties that we were putting through this. They, you know, went bang, worked fine, but as far as extraction out of there and ejection, it was a little bit hit or miss. So just understand that it's probably not going to be 100% reliable. But if you were wondering, 10 mini shells can fit in the six round mag tube. So that's cool. 11 if you want to get a plus one. And that's a lot of fun at the range. With the pump on this 870, because it is an older style handguard, you'll notice that it does cover a lot of the receiver here on the shotgun. So as far as attaching a side saddle or something like that, just be aware that you're probably going to be stuck with the four round one versus the six, because again, your pump is going to get in the way here and you're going to experience some issues with that. I don't necessarily mind that because, again, I went and was drawn to this shotgun because of the kind of nostalgia and classic feel that it had. Now, you're working with a 14-inch length of pull here, so a standard length of pull on this stock. The stock is incredibly comfortable. And as far as a pump-action shotgun goes with the recoil pad here on the back, recoil was actually pleasant most of the range today. It was a very, very smooth shooter, and I did not experience, again, any mal functions of any type. As far as loading, that was smooth and you guys are going to be seeing a bunch of just like kind of dirt and scratches all over this thing. We were running it on a barricade and <laughs> you learn a lot about a shotgun and running a shotgun at the range. You learn even more when you're trying to run it on a barricade in very interesting, difficult stances. Every single time I pulled the trigger, I was more and more excited about the purchase. It's something that is so affordable affordable and I, I, I'm loving that. It's really cool to see a company kind of be again reborn and revived and now they're putting out stuff that's looking good and it's at a very reasonable price point. So if again if Remington can continue this it's going to be a pretty big deal. I think they're doing a perfect thing by sticking with standard traditional shotguns and also more tactical modern shotguns as well and a little bit of everything in between and i see mossberg doing the exact same thing these two companies with their shotguns really do kind of understand the market and are continuously doing well so it's really nice after years of only seeing turkish crap shotguns all over the gun industry to see some US made good pump guns. And this one kind of has your traditional, are you speeding on my highway vibes? I really dig it and it's just, it's, it's, it's one of those that just, it, I love that old police shotgun look. It's just pretty awesome. Mix it with the Skyhook Gators Aviators today and it was just, it was one whole vibe and it was getting me all types of pumped up at the range to shoot this thing. Now, the walnut furniture, again, looks great. They went with that dark furniture set on this and it's, it's just awesome. I really, I don't have anything negative to say about this shotgun. I didn't know if it was gonna work or not. It was kind of a shot in the dark, but for 450 bucks retail, I was like, you know what? I'll give it a chance and see if Remington is gonna continue to win me over and it looks like they really are. And again, no affiliations with Remington whatsoever. Paid my own money for this at the shop that I work at, and I just wanted to see how it, how it worked. And I gotta say, <sighs> Remington, I went from owning no Remingtons, because again, pre-bankruptcy, who's touching that stuff? So I went from owning none, only buying Mossbergs, to now I have a mirrored amount of Remingtons with my Mossbergs, and I'm starting to almost, almost, dare I say, like my Remingtons a little bit more than my Mossberg. So we'll see if that continues. Who knows? But at this point, that is going to wrap up this first impressions video on the 870 home defense model. If you guys have any other questions about this shotgun or anything else on the channel, please let me know down in the comment section below. While you're down there, head up to the description for the ways to support the channel. And as always, stay tuned for more great videos coming soon.